backing off towards Edgewood Avenue. APD tells us Mario has mental health issues and maybe suffering a crisis. He was last seen wearing a black shirt and jeans and was not wearing any shoes. If you see him or have any information, please call Atlanta police. Now the rain returns to Atlanta. This is a live look outside towards downtown and man is it cloudy. We're going to go straight to our meteorologist Chesley McNeil and Chesley. How long does the rain plan on sticking around this afternoon? Well, for the rest of the afternoon, we'll have some scattered showers around. You can see it's very light for the most part in Ariana. We don't have a lot of moderate pockets in here. Uh, most of that fading down to the south. So look for the right rain to be a nuisance for you for the rest of the afternoon. A little widespread as well from Lawrenceville all the way down into uh, Carrollton, Peachtree City as well, Atlanta over toward McDonough, Coving uh, Covington as well, Monroe, you have uh, light showers. Again, we'll deal with this at least to about 2 or 3 o'clock this afternoon before a lot of that will begin to subside. Haven't seen the heavy amounts, uh, maybe up to a half an inch in some spots. We'll continue to see this more of the case south of the city of Atlanta as it continues to fade southward. Temperature wise, we are in the 50s. We started out in the 50s this morning, still there, but temperatures are starting to climb, especially down here to the south. Peachtree City currently at 61, near 60 in Thomaston. You got 55 in Atlanta, 54 degrees in Duluth. Some cooler temperatures over here to the north and east as it appears as though a wedge is setting up there. You notice these scattered showers uh, continuing at least through about five. As you're driving home, the rain should begin to let up, but we'll keep the clouds in place. In fact, we'll hold on to them for tomorrow as more rain moves back into the forecast. We'll time that out for you hour by hour coming up. Ariana, back to you. Thank you, Chesley. Happening in just the last few hours, President Joe Biden has declared parts of Georgia hit by last week's tornadoes major disaster areas. The new declaration makes federal funding now available to individuals affected by the deadly tornado. 11 Alive's Brittany Klein Peter is live in Griffin, one of the hardest hit areas, with more. Hey, Brittany. Good afternoon. So we've been out here all morning long. We are in a neighborhood just west of downtown Griffin. This neighborhood is completely demolished. I want to give you a closer look at what we're seeing, but most of the homes either have trees down through them or looks like there wasn't even a home there. And that's kind of the point here. These homes were lifted, destroyed, but we've been talking to residents, telling them about this new declaration and many of them telling me that they either have no insurance or they're afraid their insurance will have everything they need. According to FEMA, this assistance will include grants for temporary housing, some repairs, and some property losses that were uninsured. Funding will also be available to state and local governments as well as nonprofits. The counties impacted are going to be Butts, Henry, Jasper, Merriweather, Newton, Troop, and Spalding. The application process is now open on FEMA's website, and we've been going door to door. Like I mentioned, these residents telling me this is desperately needed here. No power, no heat. Um, well, I don't know if it's, it's going to rain in the house or not due to the torps on top of the house, but we kind of need help with gas for the generator. We ain't asked for no money or nothing, but we just, whatever they can help us with, whatever y'all can help us with, please do. While we were out here talking to people about how they could get relief and, and apply for these funds, we saw this gentleman. He was driving around just handing out checks, $500 to residents, and he had an incredible story. He drove all the way from Louisiana. He is a gator farmer. He said it was on his heart to come to Griffin to help these people. I'll have that incredible story coming up tonight. That's Guys. remarkable. Thank you, Brittany. Today, people in Griffin will be able to get more help with basic everyday items. The group caring for others will hand out water, food and supplies to the Kendleton neighborhood, which is one of the communities seeing big impacts from last week's storm. The distribution is happening on Kendall Drive right now. It just started at noon. And there is now a shelter open in Henry County for storm victims. The Locust Grove Recreation Center on Cleveland Street is now open with the help of the American Red Cross. You have showers, bathrooms, washers and dryers, wireless internet and charging stations for those in need. You can count on 11 Alive as your place to go for coverage after the deadly tornadoes. You can text tornado to 404-885-7600 for resources about how you can help their survivors, where to go for shelter and how you can keep yourself safe after tornado strikes. Developing now in Athens, we're hearing from the loved ones of UGA football player Devin Willock. He was killed in a weekend crash along with UGA staff member Chandler LaCroix. His mom sharing how he loved playing football at Georgia. Football scares me, but I was really excited for Devin. You know, 
he just like, mom, this is it. And you know what? The faster the tempo of the game, the better it is for me. I just love it. And this is what he wanted to do. He wanted to play football. Proud of his team and so proud of back to back championships. Devin Woolock's mother now speaking after her son's life was tragically cut short. Devin and UGA football staff member Chandler LaCroix were killed in a car wreck around 245 Sunday morning on Barnett Shoals Road just hours after celebrating the team's national championship win. Devin was just 20 years old and Chandler was 24. Offensive lineman Warren McClendon and staffer Tory Bowles were also hurt in that crash. Warren is already out of the house hospital while Tori is still in critical condition. One of Devin's former teammates says his sweet and giving personality will be dearly missed by anyone who knew him. He was just a great person overall. He always cared for others. I can't, I literally cannot ever say anything bad about him. It's just, he was just an amazing person. Head coach Kirby Smart also sharing his sentiments about Devin and Chandler on social media, saying Devin was always smiling and Chandler always brought so much energy every day. New details as concerns grow about easy access to fresh food and household items in communities here in the metro. We know many of you shop at Walmart, but today two Atlanta locations will remain closed after fires were set inside of the stores. This includes the Walmart on Howe Mill Road and the one on MLK Junior Drive in Vine City. The stores are just five miles apart, but it's a Vine City store many fear might stay closed. We stopped by yesterday and did not see any repairs underway or even a security guard. And when you search their store on Google, it shows it's permanently closed. The store experienced two fires within the span of a, just a few months, but still Walmart has yet to confirm or deny the store's closure. Over at the Howe Mill location, their Facebook page shows the store is temporarily closed. We did also stop by that location to check on the progress and we did see work being done. Under the Gold Dome, Georgia's General Assembly is getting ready to start working on the state's budget, and now we're getting a closer look at priorities Governor Kemp is laying out for lawmakers. They include a billion dollars to send out another round of tax income refunds starting at $250, and more than a billion dollars for one-time property tax relief grants. Schools are another big priority. He wants to invest in a $2,000 raise for teachers, put $150 million towards safety grants, for K through 12 schools and increased funding for school counselors to help address students emotional and mental health. Altogether, the budget plan tops $32 billion. New today, it's a new year for the often unpredictable housing market. Last year was a very wild ride. Our Jerry Carnes is breaking down what buyers and sellers should expect in 2023. The housing market is cooling. After climbing more than 40% over a two year span, prices are settling down. 2023 should be slightly easier for anyone looking to buy a home. We're not seeing you know, 15 offers on one home at this point in time. We're starting to see prices come down a little bit in certain markets. The National Association of Realtors is forecasting a 6.8% decline in the number of homes sold in the U.S. in the coming year, with the median price somewhere around $385,000. Experts say while 2023 should be better for home buyers, don't expect prices to go back to pre-pandemic levels quickly. I wouldn't say it's a necessarily a buyer's market yet. What I would say is it's a pretty even market between buyer and seller. The National Association of Realtors projects that demand for housing in Atlanta will continue to outpace supply and prices could climb 5% or more here. The association lists several factors that will impact the housing market here that includes strong job growth, population growth, and a high number of renters who can afford to buy a home. Another factor is the interest rate. According to the Federal Home Loan Mortgage Corporation, the current 30 year fixed rate is now 6.33%, which is down slightly from last fall, but up considerably from the 3.45% from a year ago. Right now, excitement is stirring at the chance for an AFC championship game happening right here in Atlanta. The NFL just released the dates and you can try to get those tickets. We'll talk more about it coming up next. Other partners. The 11 Alive Storm Trackers. It's how you see weather happening now across Metro Atlanta. These severe storms are now closing in. We could be talking about damage and winds, hail. And how you can plan ahead by knowing what's coming overhead. Heavy storms are rolling in. Expect pop up thunderstorms and rain all day long. And how you'll be weather ready wherever you are. We expect at any moment a tornado warning could be issued. The 11 Alive Storm Trackers. 
It's how you'll be prepared and stay safe. 11 Alive Morning News. We began with breaking news this morning. Is where you know what's happening now. 11 Alive is live on the scene. Where you can confidently plan ahead. This severe weather is intensifying. By knowing what's coming overhead. And where Atlanta's traffic expert. We've seen delays almost 30 minutes worth of time. Helps you get there on time. Every time. 11 Alive Morning News is where you start the day prepared. Watch weekdays, 5 to 7 a.m. If you see breaking news or severe weather near you, snap it and share it using Near Me on the 11 Alive News app. Want to verify if something's true or false? Record your question and send it. Download the 11 Alive News app to use Near Me. 11 Alive News at 11 p.m is where you find out what's happening now across Metro Atlanta. We begin tonight with breaking news out of Cobb County where a neighborhood is now. Where you stay a step ahead of severe weather. Our storm risk has now been upgraded to a... And the only place where you can verify fact versus fiction. 11 Alive can verify that claim is false. 11 Alive News at 11 p.m. Where you end the day ready to take on tomorrow. Weather can't run from the 11 Alive Thunder Truck. A mobile weather center with the power and speed to chase down the stronger storms and bring you on the ground conditions. The 11 Alive Thunder Truck, sponsored by Landmark Dodge. Fighting social inequality is on all of us. That's why 11 Alive is committed to sharing diverse perspectives, exposing injustice, and finding solutions. Voices for Equality, sponsored by Georgia Power and our other partners. The 11 Alive Storm Trackers. It's how you see weather happening now across Metro Atlanta. These severe storms are now closing in. We could be talking about damaging winds, hail, and... How you can plan ahead by knowing what's coming overhead. Heavy storms are rolling in. Expect pop-up thunderstorms and rain all day long. And how you'll be weather ready wherever you are. We expect at any moment a tornado warning could be issued. The 11 Alive Storm Trackers. It's how you'll be prepared and stay safe. 11 Alive Morning News. We began with breaking news this morning. Is where you... Just in this noon, we're learning more about the potential AFC Championship game at Mercedes-Benz Stadium. Tickets will start to go on sale tomorrow. We first told you last week the NFL announced that if both the Kansas City Chiefs and Buffalo Bills make it to the AFC Championship game, they will face off at the Benz. That game will happen Sunday, January 29th. The tickets will go on sale to season ticket holders first tomorrow at 10 a.m. All other fans have a chance at pre-sale tickets starting Friday at 10. The remaining tickets will go on sale to the general public Monday, January 23rd. If the AFC championship game does not happen at the Benz, tickets will be refunded. Happening now, reality TV stars Todd and Julie Chrisley are set to report to federal prison. They're expected to arrive by noon to separate prisons in Florida about two hours from each other. Both are serving sentences on bank fraud and tax evasion. Todd Chrisley was sentenced to 12 years. Julie was sentenced to seven. The couple show Chrisley knows best first debuted in 2014. Final episodes filmed prior to their trial. They're scheduled to debut sometime this year. Also today, all U.S. veterans who find themselves in a mental health crisis are now eligible for free emergency medical care at any health care facility. That includes any non-veterans health administration facilities nationwide. The hope is that the expansion will help prevent veteran suicides by providing care at no cost to veterans in times of crisis. The U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs says it will expand mental health care to more than 9 million veterans who are not currently enrolled in veterans health care services. Services. What takes effect today includes payment for, or reimbursement for treatment and transportation costs. The coverage for up to 30 days of inpatient care and 90 days of outpatient care. Those eligible include discharge or release veterans and former members of the armed forces, including reserve service members. According to the American Addiction Centers, veterans make up nearly a quarter of suicide deaths in the U.S. For more information on these new benefits that are now in effect for veterans, head over to 11alive.com.
A live look now at the White House in Washington, D.C. Right now, pressure continues to build against President Biden and his administration. After news at five more pages, a classified documents were found in his Delaware home. This makes a third discovery at his home since late December. Documents were also found at his former private office in Washington just before the midterm elections in November. Senate Republicans are now asking questions about how long it took to notify the American people, while Democrats, including U.S. Senator to Raphael Warnock are emphasizing that the Biden team turned documents over to authorities right away. That sounds like a little bit of engineering from my perspective. And the second thing is the stench of hypocrisy coming from this administration is making the American people sick. The president and his administration are cooperating and I, and I trust that they will continue to cooperate. So far, President Biden has publicly ignored all questions about this investigation. But in a new statement from the White House, officials say the president takes classified information seriously. The administration goes on to accuse House Republicans of playing politics in their investigation, saying they have no credibility. Today in California, cleanup crews and emergency management teams are digging out from the state's latest round of winter storms. After more than two and a half weeks of rain and snow, tens of thousands are without power and many more had to evacuate their homes. Now there is a break in the rain there today, so that will have and be a huge impact for crews working to get the power back on. Here at home, severe weather last week left hundreds of families searching for their next steps. That includes local pet owners who now have a new option thanks to a partnership with FEMA. The Griffin Kennel Club donated a FEMA animal trailer to help pets following disasters. It can help rescue animals displaced from the tornado if owners aren't able to drop them off at the shelter. Alumni Live's on White is in Griffin for a closer look at how it works. Mila, a rescue dog, is not only protective of her puppies, but her owner as well. She came onto the bed and she was trying to do everything she could to wake me up. She was pawing me in the face. Taylor Dykus then saw the tornado heading straight for her house in Griffith. I literally threw myself on top of them. I just wanted them to be okay. All my two pit bulls and my seven puppies and... That's all that mattered to me. Crews had to rescue her from the house. She was then horrified at what she saw outside. My barn in the backyard completely pancaked it. My car completely crushed. And my dogs, they just, they are the sweetest souls. And I just personally could not live without them. Taylor is left with nothing except her dogs. And she doesn't have to worry about their care as she picks up the pieces of her life. It's heartwarming for me to be able to provide this to them and for these animals like this here that are new to this world uh, to be able to bring them into uh, a clean shelter and give them the care they need. Tyler White leads Spalding County Animal Care and Control. The shelter has taken in 17 dogs and one cat displaced by the tornado who have these pink FEMA stickers on their kennels. The resources are there for the community to utilize. We are available to take in more. Those are my babies and all I care about is them being in a safe, warm environment. That's what Mila and her seven pups are getting. They feel smiling. Along with Mila's sister, Harley, until Taylor is able to find a new home for all of them. But I looked at those dogs like they saved my life. And, you know, I'm just so grateful that they are getting the right care that they need while, you know, we're trying to, you know, restore Griffin and get it back where it needs to be. The shelter is also looking for volunteers to help get the animals and donations to care for the pets. We have more information on that and how you can temporarily house your pets there on our website, alumnalive.com. Let's get another live look outside. We're in Sandy Springs. This is a live look at the King and Queen buildings, and you can see the clouds on that camera. We're going to get a check of your forecast here to our meteorologist, Chesie McNeil, with the rain sticking around for just a little while longer. All right, do you have me now? Yes, yes we, we see. All right, here we go. <laughs> We're looking at the rain. Sorry about that. We're looking at rain. Uh, light for the most part. We had a few moderate pockets here and there, but those moderate pockets are far few in between. The light rain will continue uh, at least for the rest of the afternoon. I'm thinking at least through about 2 or 3 o'clock, and then it will start to subside a little bit further down to the south weakening as it goes and so not much in the way of rainfall uh, for the rest of the afternoon. We have these darker greens in here. The rain is coming down pretty steadily. A little small moderate pocket there just south of Peachtree City right along I-85. That's it.
That's all you got, folks, for the rest of the afternoon. A trace about as much as we'll see as far as that rainfall goes. More of a nuisance for us this afternoon than anything else. Look at the temperatures in the 50s. It's where we started this morning. You may recall yesterday we started off in the 20s and 30s. Well, that's no longer the case because of the clouds that we had out there and that southerly flow that's coming in. And so temperatures right now are running in the 50s just about everywhere you look. You're close to 60 in McDonough and down toward uh, Locust Grove in southern parts of Henry County. 56 degrees in Noonan. Chattahoochee Hills, you're at 54 degrees, 54 in Hiram, 54 also in Powder Springs, Mapleton the same, 54, 54 in Tucker in DeKalb County, 55 in Roswell, downtown Atlanta at 55, got a pair of nickels there. And so uh, mild this afternoon. In fact, I'm expecting temperatures to go up just a little bit as well. 64 degrees will be the afternoon high, well above our average for this time of year, good 10 degrees above where we should be. Go even a five out of a possible 11. We won't see much in the way of sun. And of course we have that rain out there, more of a nuisance than anything else. Got to grab the jacket or the umbrella if you're going out this afternoon, maybe even the rain boots to keep your feet nice and you know dry. Yeah, I don't want wet feet. You're looking at uh, the rain ending at least by this afternoon. Now we're going to hold on to the clouds and we have another system that's going to come our way that will bring or at least keep the chance for the rain in the forecast. This front that you see up here to the north will come down to the south but not make it all the way into our area. So we'll start to move further off to the north as a warm front. So it keeps us with that southerly flow, keeps us in the soup, if you will. 40% chance for the rain on Wednesday and I think that comes late in the day and in the form of isolated or scattered showers, 70% chance as the front gets to the next front gets a little closer to our area on Thursday. Could be a couple thunderstorms around. We're not looking at much in the way of severe weather right now. That clears us out. So Friday will be a nice day. And then by Saturday, you're looking at a 30% chance for some sh uh, showers moving back into the area. Tomorrow, this is on Wednesday. Notice that slight risk for severe weather from Memphis down through Jackson into Louisiana. For us, not, not much isolated shower to mainly in the evening. Now, as that system gets closer, notice how it weakens. The light green shade just means that we'll have a general threat for thunderstorms. Our westernmost county is getting in on the marginal risk or a level one threat out of a possible five. So a few thunderstorms could move into our westernmost counties. Again, we're not looking at much in the way of severe weather. Here it is our forecast track model. You can follow along with me with the time right there at the top of the screen shows the scattered showers that we have around this afternoon fading away down to the south by the time you're driving home about six, seven o'clock. Mostly cloudy skies as we start today on Wednesday. We'll hold on to that through the afternoon. Once we get past two, three o'clock, that's when we could see some isolated showers beginning to pop up. Uh, a few of those could be having an embedded thunderstorm in them, but we'll wait for that line to come in by Thursday morning and we'll be around through the afternoon. Late afternoon, we'll clear that out. Get the sunshine back in here for Friday. A little bit cooler, 58 degrees will be our afternoon high temperature, but we'll take it. That's still above the average. And then more rain comes back in as we head into the upcoming weekend. Ariana? Coming up, girl power at the tip of your fingers. We'll show you the new app sharing good habits with young girls across the metro. Living Alive News at 11 p.m. Where you end the day ready to take on tomorrow. Weather can't run from the 11 Alive Thunder Truck. A mobile weather center with the power and speed to chase down the stronger storms and bring you on the ground conditions. The 11 Alive Thunder Truck, sponsored by Landmark Dive. Fighting social inequality is on all of us. That's why 11 Alive is committed to sharing diverse perspectives, exposing injustice, and finding solutions. Voices for Equality, sponsored by Georgia Power and our other partners. The 11 Alive Storm Trackers. It's how you see weather happening now across Metro Atlanta. These severe storms are now closing in. We could be talking about damaging winds, hail, and... How you can plan ahead by knowing what's coming overhead. Heavy storms are rolling in. Expect pop-up thunderstorms and rain all day long. And how you be weather ready wherever you are. We expect at any moment a tornado warning could be issued. The 11 Alive Storm Trackers. It's how you'll be prepared and stay safe. 11 Alive Morning News. We began with breaking news this morning. Is where you know what's happening uh, 11 now. 11 Alive is live on the scene. Where you can confidently plan ahead. This severe weather is intensifying. By knowing what's coming overhead. And we're Atlanta's traffic expert. We've seen delays almost 30 minutes worth of time. Helps you get there on time. Every time. 11 Alive Morning News is where you start the day prepared. Watch weekdays, 5 to 7 a.m. If you see breaking news or severe weather near you, snap it and share it using Near Me on the 11 Live News app. Want to verify if something's true or false? Record your question and send it. Download the 11 Live News app to use Near Me. 11 Live News at 11 p.m. 
is where you find out what's happening now across Metro Atlanta. We begin tonight with breaking news out of Cobb County where a neighborhood is now. Where you stay a step ahead of severe weather. Our storm risk has now been upgraded to a... And the only place where you can verify fact versus fiction. 11 Alive can verify that claim is false. 11 Alive News at 11 p.m. Where you end the day ready to take on tomorrow. Weather can't run from the 11 Alive Thunder Truck. A mobile weather center with the power and speed to chase down the strongest storms and bring you on the ground conditions. The 11 Alive Thunder Truck, sponsored by Landmark Dodge. Fighting social inequality is on all of us. That's why 11 Alive is committed to sharing diverse perspectives, exposing injustice, and finding solutions. Voices for Equality, sponsored by Georgia Power and our other partners. The 11 Alive Storm Trackers. It's how you see weather happening now across Metro Atlanta. These severe storms are now. Mental Wellness Month, and in today's Hero Central, a local group is encouraging girls to develop positive lifelong habits. The Georgia Network to End Sexual Assault is rolling out a new Think Like a Girl app. Over 21 days, app users are guided through ways to boost self confidence and decision making. There's also a space to journal and track positive habits. The goal is to empower girls starting at an early age. We're hoping that that's, that that translates into um, powerful women uh, that come forward and are able to uh, you know, take a stand and, and know that they have they have the right to do that and they should do that on behalf of themselves. Girls across Georgia are also encouraged to join the hashtag Think Like a Girl Challenge this month and share their milestones and inspirational posts on social media. Still ahead on 11 Alive News at noon, President Biden declares parts of Georgia major disaster areas. Our team is live in Griffin with what that means for communities across the metro still picking up the pieces. Download the 11 Alive News app to use near me. 11 Alive News at 11 p.m is where you find out what's happening now across Metro Atlanta. We begin tonight with breaking news out of Cobb County where a neighborhood is now. Where you stay a step ahead of severe weather. Our storm risk has now been upgraded to a... And the only place where you can verify fact versus fiction. 11 Alive can verify that claim is false. 11 Alive News at 11 p.m. Where you end the day ready to take on tomorrow. Weather can't run from the 11 Alive Thunder Truck. A mobile weather center with the power and speed to chase down the strongest storms and bring you on the ground conditions. The 11 Alive Thunder Truck, sponsored by Landmark Dodge. Fighting social inequality is on all of us. That's why 11 Alive is committed to sharing diverse perspectives, exposing injustice, and finding solutions. Voices for Equality, sponsored by Georgia Power and our other partners. The 11 Alive Storm Trackers. It's how you see weather happening now across Metro Atlanta. These severe storms are now closing in. We could be talking about damaging winds, hail. And how you can plan ahead by knowing what's coming overhead. Heavy storms are rolling in. Expect pop-up thunderstorms and rain all day long. And how you be weather ready wherever you are. We expect at any moment a tornado warning could be issued. The 11 Alive Storm Trackers. It's how you'll be prepared and stay safe. 11 Alive Morning News we began with breaking news this morning. is where you know what's happening now. 11 Alive is live on the scene. Where you can confidently plan ahead. This severe weather is intensifying. By knowing what's coming overhead. And we're Atlanta's traffic expert. We've seen delays almost 30 minutes worth of Helps you get there on time. Every time. 11 Alive Morning News is where you start the day prepared. Watch weekdays 5 to 7 a.m. If you see breaking news or severe weather near you, snap it and share it using Near Me on the 11 Live News app. Want to verify if something's true or false? Record your question and send it. Download the 11 Live News app to use Near Me. 11 Live News at 11 p.m. is where you find out what's happening now across Metro Atlanta. We begin tonight with breaking news out of Cobb County where a neighborhood is now where you stay a step ahead of severe weather. Our storm risk has now been upgraded to a... And the only place where you can verify fact versus fiction. 11 Alive can verify that claim is false. 11 Alive News at 11 p.m. Where you end the day ready to take on tomorrow. 
Weather can't run from the 11 Alive Thunder Truck. A mobile weather center with the power and speed to chase down the strongest storms and bring you on the ground conditions. Right now at 1230, we're following breaking news out of Coweta County. The sheriff's office is on scene in Sonoma where it says two men were shot in the head and the search is now underway for suspects. It happened just after midnight in the area of Deep South Road and Johnson Road. Deputies say they were responding to calls about a shooting when they found the two men both shot in the head. Police say one of the men went into cardiac arrest while being put on a helicopter to Pete Montnoonan Hospital where he died. The other was flown to Grady Hospital and we don't know his condition as of right now. Deputies say no one is in custody right now and they have not, not yet said if the two men knew each other. We have a crew on the way and we'll hear from police at 1:30. More breaking news. Atlanta police they need your help finding a 10 year old boy who ran away from the Children's Hospital. Take a look at your screen. This is Mario Boyd. Police say he was with his aunt at the Hughes Spalding location of Children's Health Care of Atlanta around 1.30 this morning. That's a hospital on Jesse Hill Jr. Drive right beside Grady. Officers say he ran from his aunt taking off toward Edgewood Avenue. APD tells us Mario has mental health issues and may be suffering a crisis. He was last seen wearing a black shirt jeans and was not wearing any shoes. If you see him or have any information, please call Atlanta Police. The rain returns to Atlanta. This is a live look outside towards downtown and you see the clouds just hanging over the city. We're going to go straight to our meteorologist says McNeil and Chesley. How long is this rain sticking around into the afternoon? I think it will be around at least through uh, two or three o'clock this afternoon before things begin to subside. There may be a lingering shower as you're driving home, especially if you're getting off by 4 35 o'clock. But for the most part, this widespread light rain that we see should be out of the way. Very light now, especially south of Atlanta. We had it all morning up to the north where we had a few moderate pockets. No lightning strikes, no thunderstorms or anything like that. We have to deal with just that nuisance rain that's going to be around. Hasn't added up to too much, maybe up to about a half an inch in some spots, especially up here north of the city. That's it. Uh, temperature wise, we are in the 50s, as you can see. 55 degrees right now in Atlanta, 61 over toward Peachtree City. Got a couple 40s up here to the north and east. 46 right now in Clayton. You're at 48 over toward Athens, uh, near 60 down in Thomaston. And that's what we're going to see. These temperatures heat up to about 64, 65 degrees later on this afternoon. Uh, and that's mild for us for this time of year. In fact, if you take a look at the forecast, you're looking at temperatures getting up to around 64 degrees. Going to call that mild. That's a good 10 degrees above where we should be for this time of year. We'll drop back down to 59 degrees by 7 o'clock tonight. More rain coming back to us tomorrow, and we'll have a good chance for some thunderstorms coming in by Thursday. Going to break all that down for you in the full forecast coming up. Ariana, back to you. Thank you, Chesley. Happening in just the last few hours, President Biden has declared parts of Georgia hit by last week's tornadoes, major disaster areas. This new declaration makes federal funding now available to individuals affected by the deadly tornadoes. 11 Alive's Brittany Klein Peter is live in Griffin, one of the hardest hit areas with more. Good afternoon. So we are just west of downtown Griffin in this neighborhood where some homes are down to their foundation. This one behind us. These folks have been out here cleaning up all morning long, even in the rain. And many of these residents out here telling me they don't have insurance or they just think their insurance won't cover everything they need. So this assistance is very According to FEMA, this assistance will include grants for temporary housing, home repairs, and some property losses that were uninsured. Funding will also be available to state and local governments, along with nonprofit organizations, for their work in the counties impacted. And those counties include Butts, Henry, Jasper, Meriwether, Newton, Troop, and Spalding. The application process is now open on FEMA's website, and we've been going door to door, like I mentioned, with residents. They say those funds are needed. No power, no heat. Um, well, I don't know if it's, it's going to rain in the house or not due to the torps on top of the house, but we kind of need help with gas for the generator. We ain't asked for no money or nothing, but we just, whatever they can help us with, whatever y'all can help us with, please do. Since we've been out here, we've just been talking with people, hearing their stories. One resident pointed out this gentleman said he had handed him a $500 check. We went up to that man. He told me he drove all the way from Louisiana because it was on his heart to help people. He was out here just handing out money. So as these reliefs are needed, we've got volunteers out here just 
handing money directly to people. So I'll have that story and more like that coming up tonight at five. Thank you, Brittany. Today, people in Griffin will be able to get more help with basic everyday items. The group caring for others will hand out water, food and supplies to the Kendleton neighborhood, which is one of the communities seeing big impacts from last week's storms. The distribution is happening on Kendall Drive right now, and it just started in the last half hour. And there is now a shelter open in Henry County for storm victims. The Locust Grove Recreation Center on Cleveland Street is now open with the help of the American Red Cross. There are showers, bathrooms, washer and dryers, wireless Internet, and charging stations for those in need. And you can count on 11 Alive as your place to go for coverage after the deadly tornadoes. You can text tornado to 404-885-7600 for resources about how you can help the survivors, where to go for shelter, and how to keep yourself safe after tornado strikes. Developing now in Athens, we're hearing from the loved ones of UGA football player Devin Willock. He was killed in a weekend crash along with UGA staff member Chandler LaCroy. His mom sharing how he loved playing football at Georgia. Football scares me, but I was really excited for Devin, you know. He just like, Mom, this is it. And you know what? The faster the tempo of the game, the better it is for me. I just love it. And this is what he wanted to do. He wanted to play football. Proud of his team and so proud of back to back championships. Devin Willock's mother now speaking after her son's life was tragically cut short. Devin and UGA football staff member Chandler LaCroix were killed in a car wreck around 245 Sunday morning on Barnett Shoals Road, just hours after celebrating the team's national championship win. Devin was just 20 years old and Chandler was 24. Offensive linemen Warren McClendon and Stafford Tory Bowles were also hurt in this crash. Warren is already out of the hospital while Tori is still in critical condition. One of Devin's former teammates says his sweet and giving personality will be dearly missed by anyone who knew him. He was just a great person overall. He always cared for others. I can't, I literally cannot ever say anything bad about him. It's just, he was just an amazing person. Head coach Kirby Smart also sharing his sentiments about how, about Devin and Chandler on social media, saying Devin was always smiling and Chandler always brought so much energy every day. New details as concerns grow about easy access to fresh food and household items in communities here in the metro. We know many of you shop at Walmart, but today two Atlanta locations remain closed after fires set inside the stores. Now this includes the Walmart on Howell Mill Road and the one on MLK Junior Drive in Vine City. The stores are just five miles apart, but it's a Vine City store many fear may stay closed. Now we stopped by yesterday and did not see any repairs underway or even a security guard. And when you search their store on Google, it shows it's permanently closed. The store experienced two fires within the span of a few months, but still Walmart says it has yet to confirm or deny the store's closure. Over at the Howe Mill location, their Facebook page shows the store is temporarily closed. We did also stop by that location to check on their progress and did see work being done. Now, you know, today it's a new year for the often unpredictable housing market. Last year was a wild ride. 11 Elias, Jerry Carnes is breaking down what buyers and sellers should expect in 2023. The housing market is cooling. After climbing more than 40% over a two-year span, prices are settling down. 2023 should be slightly easier for anyone looking to buy a home. We're not seeing, you know, 15 offers on one home at this point in time. We're starting to see prices come down a little bit in certain markets. The National Association of Realtors is forecasting a 6.8% decline in the number of homes sold in the U.S. in the coming year, with the median price somewhere around $385,000. Experts say while 2023 should be better for home buyers, don't expect prices to go back to pre-pandemic levels quickly. I wouldn't say it's a necessarily a buyer's market yet. What I would say is it's a pretty even market between buyer and seller. The National Association of Realtors projects that demand for housing in Atlanta will continue to outpace supply and prices could climb 5% or more here. The association lists several factors that will impact the housing market here that includes strong job growth, population growth, and a high number of renters who can afford to buy a home. Right now, excitement is building at the chance for an AFC Championship game happening here in Atlanta. The NFL just released the date, so you can try to get those tickets. We'll talk more about it coming up next. Thunderstorms and rain all day long. And how you be weather ready wherever you are. We expect at any moment a tornado warning could be issued. 
the 11 Alive Storm Trackers. It's how you'll be prepared and stay safe. 11 Alive Morning News. We began with breaking news this morning. Is where you know what's happening now. 11 Alive is live on the scene. Where you can confidently plan ahead. This severe weather is intensifying. By knowing what's coming overhead. And we're Atlanta's traffic expert. We've seen delays almost 30 minutes worth of time. Helps you get there on time. Every time. 11 Alive Morning News is where you start the day prepared. Watch weekdays, 5 to 7 a.m. If you see breaking news or severe weather near you, snap it and share it using Near Me on the 11 Live News app. Want to verify if something's true or false? Record your question and send it. Download the 11 Live News app to use Near Me. 11 Live News at 11 p.m is where you find out what's happening now across Metro Atlanta. We begin tonight with breaking news out of Cobb County where a neighborhood is now. Where you stay a step ahead of severe weather. Our storm risk has now been upgraded to a... And the only place where you can verify fact versus fiction. 11 Alive can verify that claim is false. 11 Alive News at 11 p.m. Where you end the day ready to take on tomorrow. Weather can't run from the 11 Alive Thunder Truck. A mobile weather center with the power and speed to chase down the strongest storms and bring you on the ground conditions. The 11 Alive Thunder Truck, sponsored by Landmark Dodge. Fighting social inequality is on all of us. That's why 11 Alive is committed to sharing diverse perspectives, exposing injustice, and finding solutions. Voices for Equality, sponsored by Georgia Power and our other partners. The 11 Alive Storm Trackers. It's how you see weather happening now across Metro Atlanta. These severe storms are now closing in. We could be talking about damaging winds, hail, and... How you can plan ahead by knowing what's coming overhead. Heavy storms are rolling in. Expect pop-up thunderstorms and rain all day long. And how you be weather ready wherever you are. We expect at any moment a tornado warning could be issued. The 11 Alive Storm Trackers. It's how you'll be prepared and stay safe. 11 Alive Morning News we began with breaking news this morning. is where you know what's happening now. 11 Alive is... Just in this noon, we're learning more about the potential AFC Championship game at Mercedes-Benz Stadium. Tickets will start to go on sale tomorrow. We first told you last week the NFL announced that if both the Kansas City Chiefs and Buffalo Bills make it to the championship game, they will face off at the Benz. That game will happen Sunday, January 29th. Now the tickets will go on sale to season ticket holders starting tomorrow at 10 a.m. And all other fans have a chance at pre-sale tickets starting Friday at 10. Then remaining tickets will go on sale to the general public Monday, January 23rd. Now if the AFC championship game does not happen at the Benz, tickets will be refunded. Happening now, reality TV stars Todd and Julie Chrisley are set to report to federal prison. They were expected to arrive by noon to separate prisons in Florida, about two hours from each other. Both are serving sentences on bank fraud and tax evasion. Todd Chrisley was sentenced to 12 years. Julie was sentenced to seven. The couple show Chrisley knows best first debuted in 2014. Final episodes filmed prior to their trial. They're scheduled to debut sometime this year. Happening today, all U.S. veterans who find themselves in a mental health crisis are now eligible for free emergency medical care at any health care facility. Now, that includes any non-veterans health administration facilities nationwide. The hope is that the expansion will help prevent veteran suicides by providing care at no cost to veterans in times of crisis. The U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs says it will expand mental health care to more than 9 million veterans who are not currently enrolled in veterans health care services. What takes effect today includes payment or reimbursement for treatment and tra transportation costs, coverage for up to 30 days of inpatient care and 90 days of outpatient care. Those eligible include discharge or release veterans and former members of the armed forces, including reserve service members. According to the American Addiction Centers, veterans make up nearly a quarter of suicide deaths in the U.S. For more information on the new benefits that are now in effect for veterans, head over to 11alive.com. We're in D.C. Pressure is currently building against President Biden and his administration after news that five more pages of classified documents were found in his Delaware home. That's Washington, D.C. at the White House. Now, this makes the third discovery at his home since late December and documents also found at his former private office in D.C. just before the midterm elections in November.
Senate Republicans, they're now asking questions about how long it took to notify the American people, while Democrats, including Georgia Senator Raphael Warnock, are emphasizing that the Biden team turned over those documents to authorities right away. That sounds like a little bit of engineering from my perspective. And the second thing is the stench of hypocrisy coming from this administration is making the American people sick. The president and his administration are cooperating, and I, and I trust that they will continue to cooperate. So far, President Biden has publicly ignored all questions about the investigation. But in a new statement from the White House, officials say the president takes classified information seriously. The administration goes on to accuse House Republicans of blame politics in their investigation, saying they have no credibility. Today in California, cleanup crews and emergency management teams are digging out from the state's latest round of winter storms. After more than two and a half weeks of rain and snow, tens of thousands are without power and many more had to evacuate their homes. There is a break in the rain there today, so that will be huge for crews working to get the power back on. Now here at home, severe weather last week left hundreds of families searching for their next steps. That includes local pet owners who now have a new option thanks to a partnership with FEMA. The Griffin Kennel Club donated a FEMA animal trailer to help pets following disasters. It can help rescue animals displaced from the tornado if pet owners are not able to drop them off at a shelter. 11 Allies Don White is in Griffin for a closer look at how it works. Mila, a rescue dog, is not only protective of her puppies, but her owner as well. She came onto the bed and she was trying to do everything she could to wake me up. She was pawing me in the face. Taylor Dykus then saw the tornado heading straight for her house in Griffith. I literally threw myself on top of them. I just wanted them to be okay. All my two pit bulls and my seven puppies and... That's all that mattered to me. Crews had to rescue her from the house. She was then horrified at what she saw outside. My barn in the backyard completely pancaked it. My car completely crushed. And my dogs, they just, they are the sweetest souls. And I just personally could not live without them. Taylor is left with nothing except her dogs. And she doesn't have to worry about their care as she picks up the pieces of her life. It's heartwarming for me to be able to provide this to them and for these animals like this here that are new to this world uh, to be able to bring them into uh, a clean shelter and give them the care they need. Tyler White leads Spalding County Animal Care and Control. The shelter has taken in 17 dogs and one cat displaced by the tornado who have these pink FEMA stickers on their kennels. The resources are there for the community to utilize. We are available to take in more. Those are my babies and all I care about is them being in a safe, warm environment. That's what Mila and her seven pups are getting. They feel smiling. Along with Mila's sister, Harley, until Taylor is able to find a new home for all of them. But I looked at those dogs like they saved my life. And, you know, I'm just so grateful that they are getting the right care that they need while, you know, we're trying to, you know, restore Griffin and get it back where it needs to be. The shelter is also looking for volunteers to help get the animals and donations to care for the pets. We have more information on that and how you can temporarily house your pets there on our website, 11alive.com. Let's get a live look outside as the rain is falling across the metro. It is a jury day here taking a live look at the King and Queen buildings in Sandy Springs. Here's our meteorologist Chesley McNeil with a check of your afternoon forecast. Hey Chesley. How you doing Ariana? We are looking at yeah, a soggy afternoon. As you can see, the wet, wet weather is with us. It's light for the most part, so more of a nuisance out there. Uh, that rain continuing to fade a little bit further down to the south. You can see some of our northern counties already starting to clear out, at least from the rain. We still have the clouds in place and that's the way it's going to be for the rest of the afternoon afternoon, even if you don't have the rain around, but it's light from Atlanta down through Peachtree City, Locust Grove over into uh, Texas, not Texas, but our Texas <laughs> over here in her County. You got uh, Troop Mary of the County as well on the wet side down toward LaGrange. Athens still got a little uh, wet weather as well. A few raindrops coming down. It's not going to add up too much for the rest of the afternoon, especially Atlanta South. We're only talking about a maybe a trace of rainfall. That'll be it. That's all you're going to find. It's just soggy out there. Temperatures are in the 50s starting to warm up a little bit. We started out with temperatures in the low 50s this morning. Already at 60 in, uh, in McDonough down toward Locust Grove. We're at 52 degrees in Covington and over toward Conyers. And Noonan, you're at 55. Perinic
Nichols there and also over into uh, Fayetteville. You got 55 degrees of Powder Springs, Hiram in uh, southern Paulding County, um, uh, Mapleton at 55, Marietta here at 57 degrees this afternoon, 56 in Tucker, Roswell at 56, uh, 56 as well, 55 degrees over toward the Fulton County Airport. So uh, yeah, it is a mild afternoon for us, but not the prettiest of days, of course. You got to go out wearing that rain jacket. Maybe in the rubber boots just to keep your feet nice and dry. Five out of a possible 11 today on the wisometer. 64 degrees. Our afternoon high temperature a good 10 degrees above where we should be for this time of year. And those temperatures will continuously creep up on us. We got a front. It's off here to the north and make its way down to the south, but not make it all the way through our area. I think it will get down to about the border between Tennessee and Georgia before lifting back to the north as a warm front, which keeps us in that southerly flow, keeps that moisture over us. And with another front making its way in, it's going to increase our chance for rain. Today, the 60% chance for the rain around, 40% chance tomorrow, and I think that comes more toward the evening. We'll spend much of the day in the clouds for your Wednesday. 70% chance of rain by Thursday with that next front coming in gives us a chance for thunderstorms as well. Now behind that front, we'll clear it out. So Friday is going to be a nice day. That's my pick for the week right there. And then by Saturday, late in the day, we'll see the showers increase once again. Now tomorrow, there is a slight chance for severe weather, especially over toward our west. So from Memphis down through Jackson over toward Louisiana, you have a level two out of a possible five or a slight risk for severe weather. Same system headed toward us, but will weaken as it moves in for Thursday. It's our westernmost counties that are under the level one threat. It's a marginal risk for severe weather, a level one out of possible five. Uh, and then the light green shade just means a general threat for thunderstorms from Atlanta down toward Macon and over toward Augusta. So we're not looking at much in the way of severe weather, but we could have a couple thunderstorms that may produce some gusty winds for our westernmost counties. We'll watch for that on Thursday. This afternoon, rain fading away. Even the clouds trying to break up a little bit. I think we're going to hold on to those clouds. We'll start you off with Wednesday morning with mostly cloudy skies. Much of the day spent the same. It won't be until we get to the latter afternoon and head toward the evening that we'll get a few scattered showers pushing into our area. Uh, and then by Thursday morning, here comes that line of showers and thunderstorms. Again, could be strong for our westernmost counties, but as it continues to push in, notice what happens. Really starts to fall apart and we'll hold on to the threat for rain at least through early afternoon. I'm thinking by noon uh, and then after that, we'll start to clear it out. We're going to get that sunshine back in here for Friday. My pick for the week, mostly sunny skies to start. Clouds move in late. 58 degrees for the high temperature, so noticeably cooler than where it will be on Thursday, which will be near 70, but 58 is above our average for this time of year. And with the sunshine, my pick. You're looking at the rain coming back to us on Sunday. Could be another couple of thunderstorms around by then. Ariana? Thank you, Chesley. Coming up, girl power at the tip of your fingers. We'll show you the new app, Planning Good Habits, and young girls across the metro. That story coming up. It's down the stronger storms and bring you on the ground conditions. The 11 Alive Thunder Truck, sponsored by Landmark Dodge. Fighting social inequality is on all of us. That's why 11 Alive is committed to sharing diverse perspectives, exposing injustice, and finding solutions. Voices for Equality, sponsored by Georgia Power and our other partners. The 11 Alive Storm Trackers. It's how you see weather happening now across Metro Atlanta. These severe storms are now closing in. We could be talking about damaging winds, hail, and... How you can plan ahead by knowing what's coming overhead. Heavy storms are rolling in. Expect pop-up thunderstorms and rain all day long. And how you be weather ready wherever you are. We expect at any moment a tornado warning could be issued. The 11 Alive Storm Trackers. It's how you'll be prepared and stay safe. 11 Alive Morning News. We began with breaking news this morning. Is where you know what's happening now. 11 Alive is live on the scene. Where you can confidently plan ahead. This severe weather is intensifying. By knowing what's coming overhead. And where Atlanta's traffic expert. We've seen delays almost 30 minutes worth of time. Helps you get there on time. Every time. 11 Alive Morning News. Is where you start the day prepared. Watch weekdays 5 to 7 a.m. If you see breaking news or severe weather near you, snap it and share it using Near Me on the 11 Live News app. It's Mental Wellness Month, and in today's Hero Central, a local group is encouraging girls to develop positive lifelong habits. The Georgia Network to End Sexual Assault is rolling out a new Think Like a Girl app. Over the next 21 days, app users are guided through ways to boost self-confidence and decision-making. There's also a space to journal and track positive habits. The goal is to empower girls starting at an early age.
we're hoping that that's that that translates into um, powerful women uh, that come forward and are able to uh, you know, take a stand and and know that they have they have the right to do that and they should do that on behalf of themselves. Girls across Georgia are also encouraged to join the hashtag Think Like a Girl Challenge this month and share their milestones and inspirational posts on social media. Still ahead, Southwest Airlines is still bouncing back from its holiday meltdown where things stand with lost bags, canceled flights, and what the airline is now doing to prevent another disaster. Voices for Equality, sponsored by Georgia Power and our other partners. The 11 Alive Storm Trackers. It's how you see weather happening now across Metro Atlanta. These severe storms are now closing in. We could be talking about damaging winds, hail, and... How you can plan ahead by knowing what's coming overhead. Heavy storms are rolling in. Expect pop-up thunderstorms and rain all day long. And how you be weather ready wherever you are. We expect at any moment a tornado warning could be issued. The 11 Alive Storm Trackers. It's how you'll be prepared and stay safe. 11 Alive Morning News. We began with breaking news this morning. Is where you know what's happening now. 11 Alive is live on the scene. Where you can confidently plan ahead. This severe weather is intensifying. By knowing what's coming overhead. And where Atlanta's traffic expert. We've seen delays almost 30 minutes worth of Helps you get there on time. Every time. 11 Alive Morning News. Is where you start the day prepared. Watch weekdays 5 to 7 a.m. If you see breaking news or severe weather near you, snap it and share it using Near Me on the 11 Live News app. Want to verify if something's true or false? Record your question and send it. Download the 11 Live News app to use Near Me. 11 Live News at 11 p.m. is where you find out what's happening now across Metro Atlanta. We begin tonight with breaking news out of Cobb County where a neighborhood is now where you stay a step ahead of severe weather. Our storm risk has now been upgraded to a... And the only place where you can verify fact versus fiction. 11 Alive can verify that claim is false. 11 Alive News at 11... Today, Southwest Airlines says operations are almost back to normal following that meltdown that we remember last month. And sent an email to customers saying it has returned virtually all the bags and processed almost all refunds. You may remember the airline canceled more than 16,000 flights between December 21st and December 31st, losing at least $725 million during the holiday travel season. Southwest says it has hired an aviation consulting firm to assess the situation and make recommendations moving forward. It has also budgeted more than $1 billion of its annual operating plan on improving and maintaining its IT system so this does not happen again. All right, thank you guys so much for joining us at 11 Alive News at noon. We'll have more news and weather coming up at 11 Alive News starting at 5 p.m. Go out and have a great day and stay dry. Stay safe. 11 Alive Morning News. We began with breaking news this morning. Is where you know what's happening now. 11 Alive is live on the scene. Where you can confidently plan ahead. This severe weather is intensifying. By knowing what's coming overhead. And where Atlanta's traffic expert. We've seen delays almost 30 minutes worth of Helps you get there on time. Every time. 11 Alive Morning News. Is where you start the day prepared. Watch weekdays 5 to 7 a.m. If you see breaking news or severe weather near you, snap it and share it using Near Me on the 11 Live News app. Want to verify if something's true or false? Record your question and send it. Download the 11 Live News app to use Near Me. 11 Live News at 11 p.m. is where you find out what's happening now across Metro Atlanta. We begin tonight with breaking news out of Cobb County where a neighborhood is now where you stay a step ahead of severe weather. Our storm risk has now been upgraded to a... And the only place where you can verify fact versus fiction. 11 Alive can verify that claim is false. 11 Alive News at 11 p.m. Where you end the day ready to take on tomorrow. Weather can't run from the 11 Alive Thunder Truck. A mobile weather center with the power and speed to chase down the strongest storms and bring you on the ground conditions. The 11 Alive Thunder Truck, sponsored by Landmark Dodge. Fighting social inequality.
is on all of us. That's why 11 Alive is committed to sharing diverse perspectives, exposing injustice, and finding solutions. Voices for Equality, sponsored by Georgia Power and our other partners. The 11 Alive Storm Trackers. It's how you see weather happening now across Metro Atlanta. These severe storms are now closing in. We could be talking about damaging winds, hail, and... How you can plan ahead by knowing what's coming overhead. Heavy storms are rolling in. Expect pop-up thunderstorms and rain all day long. And how you be weather ready wherever you are. We expect at any moment a tornado warning could be issued. The 11 Alive Storm Trackers. It's how you'll be prepared and stay safe. 11 Alive Morning News. We began with breaking news this morning. Is where you know what's happening now. 11 Alive is live on the scene. Where you can confidently plan ahead. This severe weather is intensifying. By knowing what's coming overhead. 